guys Matt here want to give you a quick tip show you what not to do when you're growing chestnut seedlings um, as you've seen in probably uh, if you've looked at my previous videos I have cages made out of PVC um, that I put over uh, my seedlings in order to keep the squirrels away uh, while the nuts are still on the seedlings because all it takes is a couple of squirrels and they'll ruin your whole project um, I don't know if you can tell or not but I've since removed all the nuts from the seedlings you can do this after um really after the first leaf flush you can uh you can do it um i like to keep them on there as long as possible because there's a lot of energy stored up in that nut and you know it directly feeds the tree so but basically what i did was is we've been getting a lot of rain this this month and i was afraid they were getting too much water um if that's possible um so uh, what I did was is I put this blue tarp over my two over my cages to block the rain. Well, that worked great. They they all dried out. I'm not used to this uh, new mix that I'm using this year, Pro Mix BX. And apparently, when it dries out, some sometimes uh, the tops of it uh, is is quite dark and it still looks like it's wet. You need to feel it because even though it looks like it might be wet, it's dark. Um, it may be dry as in the case yesterday I wasn't going to come out and look at them yesterday I had already been out once that day and uh, decided that uh, you know that, that that everything was okay we were expecting rain uh, today or last night so wasn't too concerned um, just happened to go out and some of my seedlings especially the uh, some of the Americans and the Dunstans, uh, some of the, the leaves have had drooped down, and some of the very tops, I don't know if you can see this one right here, um, look like that. Um, it's still pliable, but I expect that to probably uh, to dry up and die. And that's simply because of not enough water. And you know, when I got to thinking back, uh, it had been probably four days since they would gotten any water. That's really too long of a time to go um, when you're using these root maker pots to go without to go go without water. Uh, when it gets hot in the summer, when we're doing these, um, you may have to water every day. So uh, it got up into the mid 80s yesterday, and a combination of that and no water for four days. Um, cause some damage to my tree so I just wanted to do a quick video let you guys know what not to do um, it looks like um, I come out this morning I watered them when I when I found out uh, what had happened I watered them heavy yesterday and it looks like the leaves for the most part the big leaves have recovered um, they're they're not drooping anymore like this one was drooping down and there was uh, couple down here there was three right here they were drooping down and see you can tell that they have recovered for the most part now you can see a little bit of damage on some of the tender uh, new growth um, this may survive I don't know um, you can see it wilted right here still but all of these leaves they were drooping down like that it, they look pretty sad um, and I thought pretty much they were goners but it looks like they may have uh, I may have just spotted it in the nick of time um, and and corrected the situation by water uh, you can see there's a little bit of damage right there so anyway <clears throat> just be mindful that even in the coolest of days of course 85 here is considered cool to us uh, especially during the summer that uh, you're gonna have to stay on top of watering so that's one thing to consider when you're growing uh, your trees you know I've got lots here I've, I've got lots of trees and it's going to be a full-time job this summer to keep them watered um, I checked all the uh, trees that I had in pots like those right there those are two buck fours that I have in pots um, and those were fine because there's a lot more um, potting mix in those and it was still moist well hand watered them anyway just to be safe 
and ironically now uh, this morning it looks like there's some uh, thunderstorms about to roll through probably in the next two or three hours so they'll get another drink I'm not going to cover them up um, I think I'm pretty much done with the tarps and everything looks like for the next uh, 10 days or so our weather pattern is going to change a little bit and the rain chances are going down so it won't hurt them to get uh, watered when it rains these right here I don't know if I've ever showed these on video uh, these are some um, humongous bur oaks that I'm growing now they come off of a tree that uh, is on my grandmother's place and uh, they produce really big I, uh, acorns I haven't removed these nuts from the trees um, so anyway Take care, guys.